everybody. This is going to be a before I get stuff review of a BioCube, uh, Coral Life BioCube, 29 gallon. Uh, going to get, this is going to be a tropical tank. Uh, you get the flashlight so I can show you the internals later. But right now, all I got is some gravel. It's been rinsed a lot. Put in, got a giant heater. I'll show you it later in a thermometer. Just got that today, and it and the heater's working because it reads about 78. So that's what I got the heater set on to. It's got fluorescents on it. Uh, it's got blue fluorescents, uh, which turn on a cooling fan, and I got blue nighttime LEDs. So for the sake of the review, I'm just gonna keep on the white. Um, got your feeding door pretty big uh... you got the switches for the lights right there hold on switches uh... this pops open it's on both sides and then can lift it up and you got my heater there got the dial and uh... thermometer is in there right there hooks on the pad, and as you can see, it's doing its job because it's filtering. Uh, under the pad, you have bio balls, and the water is just an overflow. Goes in there, comes down here, hits the pad, it goes into the bio balls. Under the bio balls is a drip tray, which drips down. The water goes through a sponge down there. That sponge is through into the filter. Filter pushes out right there on that thing. Uh, you can adjust it as well, that thing, to make the flow better or worse. Um, if, well, not better or worse, but if you want it hitting the glass, going off the glass, whatever you want. Got a Coral Life 1000 in there. It's their thing. And got cords, holes coming out. And uh, it's got a, a mark uh, right there that says minimum and max and you should have in the middle probably right there of water coming out and uh... it's a pretty cool filter system and it obviously is working cause you're getting junk right there and uh... the water is crystal clear uh... nothing at all obviously it's still filtering a lot uh... it's got some still has some oxygen bubbles around uh... Should go away. I'm gonna get plants in a week and a half. Uh, gonna get some fish in three weeks. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what fish I'm getting. But it's a 29 gallon, so I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here for these. So, I mean, it could get a lot. Uh, not a lot of fish. I'd say without. Um, you don't wanna go to the maximum to. If you want to um, fight overstocking it, then I would say about 20 to 25 fish, uh, slim bodied, that would be. Uh, I say for every full body fish, say like a gourami or something, I'd say that would count, depending on the size, two to three slim bodied fish. So just keep that in mind. Um, and the rule about an inch per fish per gallon thing, I mean, I guess. Yes, it seems logical, but I don't think that rule works as much as going online and measuring the dimensions of the tank and uh then just enter it in on the site and then uh, it'll it'll tell you there's like fish calculators you search up on the internet. And I mean this tank's really big. It's like a TV. It looks like a bo old box TV kind of thing. Uh so it's o but the thing don't for this tank I would only measure the glass because the glass is the tank the part back there that's just the filter part so I would measure the glass uh, length and pr probably height not really width they usually websites don't call for the width um, and then just plug that in there or you could just search up online what the dimensions of it are and then it'll tell you you plug it in. And mine read up that I could put 32 fish in it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk overstocking, so I'm gonna put around 20, 25. 
fish in there. Um, maybe a little less because I'm going to get a dwarf gourami, a small one. So I think around 23 maybe. So I'm not I'm not too sure though. Um, I could still probably get 25 uh, fish. And um, yeah, I'm thinking about some... Maybe some two sword tails, male and female. I don't care if they have babies. Uh, I'm going to get some glass cats, some black skirt tetras, some cardinal tetras. Uh, I don't, not too sure about getting a red tail shark because, from my experience, I had red tail sharks. They're supposed to be semi aggressive. When they get bigger, they are. But uh, from my experience, when I had mine, they were calm and chill. And I uh, actually. I read up that they're called the policemen of the tank because if they're fighting, uh, some fish are fighting. I actually seen this with uh, one of my tanks, uh, and um, they'll come and they'll break up the fight, and it's actually kind of funny. Uh, and I mean, the only time they really get aggressive I've seen during feeding time, but. My red tail shark usually waited till food got to the bottom, then ate it, because they're kind of like catfish, uh, almost like catfish, uh, but this tank is pretty nice, and I mean, I'll have to see how the filter goes, if it keeps it clear, should, but uh, it's a different filter, so I never know, and, um, there's the giant box for it, uh, but, yeah, the heater is 100 watts, that I got for it. It's got a dial. You can fix it to anything you want. And um, also, this is some fish information. I'll make another video on this. Uh, but I, my dad told me because he's a, he was a big fish keeper. If you get don't really get black mollies because they're a risk because they get ick really easily. Uh, they like I look in the pet store a lot. And I see about two out of every single one in there has ick. And if they get ick, the rest of your fish get ick.